Hey, all third legal warriors. Did you know there are three things that prosecutors don't want you to know if you're charged with a crime in Washington State? If you're interested in this area of the law, stay tuned, because this is the video for you. My name is attorney Lance Fryer. I'm a defense attorney in Linwood, Washington. My law firm's been defending people charged with crimes all throughout Washington State for more than 20 years, and I'm putting out these videos to help educate the public. So if you find this useful, please like and please subscribe. More people get the help they need. Now I'm just going to jump right into it. I was a prosecutor for seven years before doing defense for more than 20 years now. And let me tell you, um, being a prosecutor is a hard job. And there are three things when I was a prosecutor, I really didn't want the defendants to know uh, about the job I was doing. And I think it can apply to many prosecutors. Everybody's different, but I'm going to go through uh, the three things uh, that I believe are important for any defendant to know that maybe the prosecutor wouldn't want you to know. Number one is the prosecutor has so many cases that they are likely not totally up to speed on any individual case. So it's a pretty good chance for your case that the prosecutor early on in the case hasn't had a chance to thoroughly go over the report. They might have, may not even have read any of the reports in some cases. They might not have read the witness statements. Almost certainly they haven't watched any uh, video, any uh, video of police officers until later on. There's just too many cases. Think about it. Each case that the prosecutor has might have you know, two or three hours of officer video. They can't watch uh, a thousand cases and a thousand officer videos. There's just not enough time in the day, in the week, in the month to do that. So many prosecutors may not want you to know that they're not totally up to speed on your case at every moment because, you know, that doesn't uh, look like they have a lot of leverage on you than if they don't know every fact. And so prosecutors are human. Um, I know when I went to the court, I have a pretty good idea of what each case was about, but I didn't know everything. And oftentimes a defense attorney coming in uh, who only has that one case uh, that they're handling at the time, and they may only have a fraction of the cases a prosecutor has, um, they uh, knew more about their case than I knew about their case. And in many cases, that could be a help to your defense. So that's one thing I want you to keep in mind and that prosecutors may not want you to know that they're not totally up to speed on your case um, because they just have too many cases going on. Number two, I think the second thing prosecutors may not want you to know is that for the most part, uh, prosecutors don't keep track of wins or losses, right? They don't have a win and loss percentage they keep at home. They're not trying to make a notch in their belt by convicting you and putting you in jail. And there are prosecutors who who might uh, have keep track of wins or losses. I hope not, because a prosecutor's job is to do justice, not just to convict people. But I think it's important that you realize that that's generally not how prosecutors work, right? A prosecutor's job is to do justice. And if you realize they're um, not simply looking to win, you're going to feel a lot better about your case. And you're going to have a lot more faith that a prosecutor is going to treat you fairly and try to come to a fair result in your case. So many of my clients from, will say something like, well, the prosecutor's just trying to win. And there can be some truth of that, but a good prosecutor isn't trying to win by necessarily getting a conviction. A prosecutor may be trying to win in their own mind by trying to do what they think is right. And sometimes what they think is, is right is giving someone a second chance. So uh, some prosecutors may not want you to know they don't keep track of wins or losses because, you know, if they're more powerful and they're almighty, they can get, you know, maybe extort more plays out of people and have to do a little bit less work. But I think that's something that prosecutors probably don't want you to know. And the third thing I think a prosecutor probably wouldn't want you to know is it's pretty hard to get witnesses to show up when you're a prosecutor to testify against defendants. Now, it's not so hard to get your own police officers to show up, though sometimes it is. You know, sometimes they're on vacation or they're on training, um, but you know they've got to show up as part of their job duties. Now, let's talk about a case with a witness in a DUI accident or a victim of domestic violence who doesn't want the case to proceed. Most prosecutors probably don't want you to know that they can't just make people show up, right? A subpoena says they're supposed to show up, but for the most part, 
uh, there's not going to be a consequence to a witness if they fail to show. A prosecutor does have the power in some instances to ask for a material witness warrant where the judge could issue a warrant to arrest a witness who's vital, who doesn't show up. But prosecutors probably don't want you to know that they almost never do that because that traumatizes people. It's a lot of work. Uh, it's a lot of work in the police. We're throwing someone in jail for not showing up. And so it's not uh, automatic that the witnesses that are necessary at a trial for a prosecutor are even going to appear. Um, now, in high-level felony cases, the prosecutor may send out a police officer to go round someone up and make sure they show up, stuff like that. But it's important to know that um, if a witness doesn't show up that's necessary to the case, a prosecutor may not be able to proceed. Now, we're not going to go out and tell witnesses not to show up. That's witness tampering. Don't do that. But just realize it's not automatic. We get calls from uh, people that have been subpoenaed as witnesses fairly often who ask, uh, you know, what they should do. Do they need to go, right? What is going to happen to them if they disobey that subpoena? And there's different things we can tell people. Um, but the bottom line is, is that um, a prosecutor probably doesn't want you to know that their case uh, may fall apart when that witness that a defendant may think will always show up, they choose not to. I mean, there's lots of reasons that a witness doesn't want to show up. They may not get the subpoena. They may have to work and they can't miss work. They just aren't interested. You know, they don't want to uh, be part of the process. And usually if they're not part of the process, nothing happens to them. Um, again, if you get a subpoena, you're supposed to obey it. This one's not telling you not to. It's telling you you need to know that as a defendant. So what's the sort of common theme of these three things a prosecutor may not want you to know? You know, the prosecutor uh, isn't necessarily out to crush people. They're not necessarily all-knowing and have every little detail. And they don't have all the power just to force someone to show up in every case because they don't exercise the power in that way. So when you think about a good prosecutor, you think of someone who's trying to do justice, who's trying to do the right thing, not only for the victim, but for the defendant and for society too. So if you're charged with a crime, keep in mind that your attorney will hopefully know these things and work with the prosecutor uh, to present your best defense, to get to the best result, and hopefully get you on with a good future. So if you found this useful, please like and please subscribe. More people will get to see it. More importantly, if you have a criminal matter in Washington State, feel free to reach out to my firm. We have been defending people for more than 20 years. We'll listen to what happened. We'll identify a way forward, and we will be there for you. Thank you.